Is it physically possible to jump nine meters in the long jump? For more than a century, countless athletes have managed to jump unbelievable distances, but even the greatest leaps of all time have fallen just short of this mark. Back in 1991 at the World Track and Field Championships, Mike Powell and Carl Lewis had one of the most epic back and forth battles in long jumping history. Round after round, these two were both achieving some of the greatest marks of all time. However, in round five, they both flew into completely uncharted territories. Incredibly, in this round, they both surpassed the 8.9 meter mark. And this was the first time in over 20 years that anyone had jumped this distance. However, Mike Powell's jump of 8.95 meters is to this day the current world record. This jump was simply insane. His height, his speed, and his foot placement were all fantastically executed, and it resulted in one of the greatest track and field moments of all time. This jump also ended a 10-year winning streak for Carl Lewis, making Powell's new world record also one of the greatest upsets in track and field history. This means that for over 29 years, this record has stood unrelenting against any other athlete in the world. Even with advancing technologies, better training, and millions of additional jumps around the world, nobody has ever managed to achieve the magical 9-meter jump. But there's also something else that you should know, and that's that this jump is actually not the longest jump ever recorded, because that jump would happen just one year later. On July 22nd of 1992, Powell returned to the track in beautiful Sestriere, Italy. This location is largely known for its high altitude, and this altitude is very much a reason why Powell was able to achieve a truly historic mark. Again in round 5, his powerful run-up was matched with a very solid jump, and amazingly, he achieved a jump of 8.99 meters. In addition to the high altitude, there was also a powerful tailwind behind Mike Powell on this day. For a legal jump to be achieved, a wind limit of 2 meters per second is allowed. However, for this jump, a very strong wind of 4.4 meters per second was present, more than double the allowable limit. With such a strong tailwind, this jump was not eligible for world record consideration, but to this day, under any conditions, this is the farthest any human being has ever jumped. Even with the presence of a strong tailwind, high elevation, and an absolutely world-class jump, the magical 9 meters was still unattainable. So why exactly is this? For almost three decades, we've only been just a few millimeters away. You know how small this is? Well, it's about the length of a standard eraser at the end of a pencil, so you would think that this tiny, seemingly insignificant distance would be achievable. Well, if you thought that, you'd be wrong. With the current record standing for such a long time, there are many questions as to why this is the case. Has the long jump lost its luster over the years? Was doping involved? Was Powell's long jump really that good? Or is it that jumping 9 meters is truly almost impossible? To better understand just how far 9 meters is, take a look at this picture. This here is a picture of Bob Beeman's famous jump of 8.90 meters at the 1968 Olympics, which was a world record that stood for almost 23 years. This jump was truly unbelievable, as it absolutely obliterated the previous mark and to this day is still the Olympic record. With just one glance, it's difficult to wrap your mind around just how far this is. So for a little more perspective, imagine a standard London bus, because this actually falls within the 9 meter mark. It's kind of ridiculous that this is even possible, but there is a reason why this kind of jump has only happened on a handful of occasions, and that's because this kind of performance requires unbelievably high precision to pull off. For most events in track and field, performances are more or less one-dimensional, but for the long jump, there are countless factors that all need to be maximized in one single moment. 
There's speed control, there's the final two strides, there's the takeoff, there's the landing, and then there's a million other characteristics. On top of this, there's unbelievably precise timing to each of these factors, meaning that with just one small misstep, the jump is all but lost. For Powell's world record jump in 1991, he stated that he knew that he was running as fast as he could and that his takeoff was nearly perfect. And when you watch this jump in slow motion, it is simply amazing how high he jumped, in addition to obviously jumping very far. This razor-thin timing is something that coaches and athletes have been chasing for years, but finding a way to combine these ultra-specific mechanics in addition to the wind and the altitude is one of the most difficult things to achieve in track and field. Now, Mike Powell is the current world record holder, but most would agree that the title of greatest long jumper ever goes to Carl Lewis. In addition to his 10-year winning streak, he is one of only two track and field athletes ever to achieve four consecutive Olympic gold medals, and he managed to achieve this feat in the long jump from 1984 through 1996. In addition to his natural jumping capabilities, Lewis was a world-class sprinter, winning various world and Olympic medals in both the 100 and the 200 meters. Combined together, and Lewis's speed and jumping athleticism made him the ideal candidate to attack the 9 meter mark. And even though he never achieved this on paper, there was one special jump back in 1982 that, according to many around the world, was actually the first and only 9 meter jump to ever occur. As you can clearly see, he landed well beyond the 9 meter mark, but according to the line technician, this jump was a foul. But for Lewis and his coach, there was no foul mark present, not on the takeoff board, not on Lewis's shoe, nothing. Quickly after this jump, Lewis looked to file a complaint and have the jump reassessed, but by the time he attempted to do this, the sand in the pit had already been re-raked, covering up quite possibly the longest jump in history. Now, this is one of those moments that for one reason or another has been cemented as a potential record-breaking moment, but in reality, there's simply no way of knowing for sure. After this jump, Lewis returned in the next round and managed a jump of 8.76 meters, which to this day is still one of the greatest long jumps ever. Over the years, the 9 meter mark has only been growing more and more difficult to achieve, and now that Powell's world record has stood for almost three decades, it's only fair to call the 9 meter long jump almost impossible. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.